Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, I'm going to share some tips that will be useful whether you're editing Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, any other editing platform, and publishing your videos to YouTube or to another video platform. We're going to have a look at how we can take the transcript of our video and then extract content from it to create a table of content with times for our video, and also even create a blog post that will help to drive views to our videos on YouTube. So we're going to dive right into YouTube here. So in this video, we have added this time list of content. So the minutes and the seconds, and then a kind of brief overview of what is happening at that particular point in the video. And this is created using ChatGPT. So we're going to look at how we go to a video, extract the subtitles and the transcription into a format that we can get into ChatGPT to actually then create this content and also to create things like blog posts for our website. So the first thing we need to do is go to a new video. So we're going to jump into this video I created recently on fixing outline cropping issues. And we're going to jump into the edit option for this video. So once we're in this video, you can see on the left, we have this option for subtitles. So YouTube automatically creates subtitles for any video that you create. So if we hover over this English automatic subtitle in the middle here, you can see we can edit the subtitles, we can trash them, and then we can also click on these three little dots to download those subtitles. We're going to download these in the SRT format. Now the SRT format is really just a text format. So if we come to our list of downloads here, we'll come to this cap Options SRT. And essentially, we're going to convert this into a text document that we can then copy and paste into ChatGPT. So I'm going to hit enter here and we're going to call this fix outline cropping.txt and we're going to delete the dot SRT on the end there. When we hit enter and go to use text, essentially what we can do now is double click on this and open it up in the text document. So you can see I've got this previous table of contents that I created and we'll just delete that. So we've got this time-coded list of everything I've said, so the captions from my video. We're gonna select all of this, so Command and A on the Mac, or Edit Select All, and then we're gonna go to Edit and Copy, and now we're gonna jump into ChatGPT. So we're gonna come in here and start a new chat, and in here we're gonna ask ChatGPT to turn this into a list of content. So we're gonna prompt ChatGPT a little bit, so we're gonna ask it to create a concise list of 10 key points in this video in the format. I'm just gonna hold down enter, which allows me to break to the next line. And we want it to have minutes and minutes, a colon, seconds and seconds. And then in here would be short description. And then we'll hold down shift and hit enter again. I'm gonna paste all that in and hit enter. And you can see here, we're pretty close to what we need. We just need to refine what ChatGPT is offering us here. So here, I'm gonna reduce the number of here. So keep this to eight key points and only include the start time. So now you can see we're getting closer to that format where we just have the start time and then description. And we're gonna get this to shorten the description to six or seven words, so that kind of nice list-like format. And then we didn't get ChatGPT to convert the time code to exactly what we wanted before, but we can do that here. So I'm gonna convert all times to MMSS, so minutes and seconds, so minutes and seconds. And we just need to remove the first two zeros. So, so we're pretty close here. We're going to remove the numbered list. And we'll get it to keep everything on one line. And we're still learning how to uh, work with the AI. So we're just going to go back here where the numbers were very close to what we wanted. And we're just going to paste this here and we'll remove the line break between the number and the description. And there we go. So there's sometimes a little bit of figuring out ChatGPT is kind of making something new up every time uh, it does this. So you can see we're getting a pretty good list of what we have in our video. We'll copy this and we'll create a new document in our text edit tool here. Paste that in. It's going to increase the size so we can all see that clearly. So we'll just make the first number 00, zero and we'll just say video intro here. And then we'll say, check out the Outliner FX from Brett FX. 
only one T. So ChatGPT doesn't have all the perfect spelling, but it's doing a very good job of saving us some time from going through the whole video. So uh, especially this is only a three minute video, so it might not have taken us that long, but once we refine this process, it will become pretty quick. So, we'll, so this looks pretty good, demonstrates the image cropping issue guides on using compound clips to prevent cropping. We're going to take out all the periods here and another for FX power tools. So we'll capitalize those. BrettFX Power Tools is a free outliner. Uh, comparing cropping with and without a compound clip. We can, just, we can just say cropping with and without the compound clip. And then I'll just write explores Power Tools outline features. And then we'll call this wrap up. So, so overall, ChatGPT is giving us something really good to work with here. We might need to go through and check out some of the spelling mistakes, maybe capitalize a few things. But overall, ChatGPT is giving us a really good start on getting this list sorted, which in my experience is much quicker than going through the video yourself. So we'll get this copied. We'll go back to our video and to the details. And in here, we'll paste this in, save that, and then we'll jump in and view the video. And you can see now, those sections are appearing at the bottom. So that's what these time codes do for your videos, why they're useful to have, because they give you these sections for each of the video, which breaks it up. And also YouTube does like this for its search. The search will actually translate to Google as well. So you'll get that kind of section by section overview of the video when people find that on a Google search. So definitely useful to have these here. You can see my my chapters at the bottom here from the time codes that ChatGPT has made. And so nice, quick way of getting this contents into our description on our YouTube videos, which is going to help promote those videos. So the other thing that we mentioned as well, so we've got our transcript here still, is that we can take this transcript and we can ask ChatGPT to write a blog post based on this transcript. We'll hold down shift and hit enter a couple of times, paste that in, then hit enter. And so now if we scroll down past the transcript itself, you can see that ChatGPT is happily writing a little description of what's covered in the video. We can also ask ChatGPT to change the style of the blog post. So I make this, so we can ask it to make it more concise. So if you're making videos and you do want to write a blog post that goes along with it, but you don't want to go and actually write the blog post yourself, then ChatGPT will nicely take your content and give you something that's pretty useful. We can even remove the first person out of here. We're going to replace the list with two paragraphs. The list is good for YouTube, but actually here we just want a nice blog post and we'll also get it to remove the time codes. So it becomes more of a, just a regular blog post. So you can see ChatGPT is giving a nice quick overview of this. We can then come to our website, come to your blog, and you can see I've already created a blog post for that with a slightly different post created by ChatGPT and some edits from myself, added in a few links there to different tools that are mentioned in the tutorial. ChatGPT will give you something different every time. So you have to really experiment with it and find out what is working for you. So ChatGPT is really useful when you're publishing to a number of different platforms. So here we're publishing to YouTube, also want to publish to a blog to improve our search engine optimization to make sure that we're getting those Google searches and other searches directing people towards our YouTube videos. So I hope this is helpful. If you do have any questions, then please do get in touch.